Hey guys, take a look. So this is my wife's car. It's a 2015 Cadillac SRX and it has the uh, cracked screen that everybody gets. So um, my wife took us to the dealer. She didn't even tell me, but she was getting some other stuff done under warranty. And uh, I think they quoted like 800 or a thousand bucks. So don't know. I seem kind of extreme, I guess, just for a cracked screen. And, you know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I fix a lot of screens, like with my uh, tablets and cell phones. So, decided to look online. Saw one on Amazon for 52 bucks. I guess I thought I'd give it a shot. But, uh, you know, for versus $800 or whatever, you know. So, all right. So, i got to take some pieces off. I'll show you what I got on Amazon. And then uh, i got to take these pieces off here. Then this thing should just pop up. I guess from what I read so far is that the uh, SRX is a lot easier to to uh, take apart than the like the Escalades. And I'm not sure if they actually had these in GM vehicles or or if it was just Cadillac. But yeah, it just seemed like that. Man, that's like a hundred percent failure rate. There's just it's, there was even a class action lawsuit. So all right, so let me show you what I got. All right, so this is what I got. I don't think we can get this, but. Uh, before I get before I take it apart, I wanted to uh, make sure this actually worked. I already I looked at it, and I wanted to see if it actually came with tools to help me get it apart. So, all right, fifty-two bucks. Let me show you. I'm gonna go back to the car again. I want to just make sure it actually has the right screen before I get into it. But I also printed out some uh, some uh, trim removal tools. So, all right, all right. So what I did is I popped this up a little bit. There's like a spring-loaded clip there. I popped that up right there, and I was able to get this underneath it like that. There should be another spring-loaded thing here. <laughs> Alright, so there's a little spring-loaded clip right there. And there's a screw right here you need to get to. Right there. Alright, so this piece just came right off like that. Those two spring clips are hanging like that. Alright, so it looks like this side has already been broken already. But this thing should just pop off and come forward. But this thing was actually replaced when we first got the car. It wasn't working. You know, then about two years later, it breaks again. So, screen cracks. At first, it was actually working. You could actually touch it and still. But then, eventually, now you can't do anything. It's just okay. kicked. How do I open this door? Yeah, we we'll fix it up. All right, so let's just pop forward. And you lift it forward up. That's kind of dirty. All right. And then there should be two screws here, one here and one here, and that should pop the top bezel off. All right, so there should be some spring-loaded clips in there, and as long as you have the two bolts off here, you should just be able to pull it forward like that. you got to open this thing up first. And then the thing just pops forward, the little clips right there. See that? All right, let's just kind of mount that down, keep it, keep it connected. And then get those out of there. And there should be a couple screws here and there. And that whole thing should just pop forward. All right, now all the screws are done. You should be able to pop this forward. And then we're looking at, we need to get behind it and redo, undo all the, the wires back there. So I'm going to put the camera down. I can't do this with one hand. There. There's really only just one power and speaker connector, and the rest are just like USB extensions. All right, so now we have it back on my test bench. We got six seven millimeter screws we gotta get rid of right here. And that should pop this off. Once you get those screws off, you pop off the side. So now we gotta remove this back cover. So there's a bunch of little silver looking screws everywhere. Here, 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 there, all around the side. Just make sure you get all those out. And that should just pop that off. Alright, so now all those screws removed. That should just pop up like that. Alright, so now we're at where we need to be. All right, so next we gotta get this big, this lower plastic assembly off here. <coughs> That's actually like the compartment right there. So there's actually some screws right there. Sorry, oh, there I go. So you can see it. There you go. Actually, that one I don't think needs to go. Um, yeah, all these, these silver ones here. There's one there. So didn't get it on camera it just popped off on its own but there's actually like a little small and yeah, make sure you take out the little ribbon cable right there it goes in right there and that th this thing just pops right down a couple clips 
Yeah, you have to get that plastic piece off because you need to get this ribbon cable right there. Right there. And that's actually the digitizer ribbon cable right there. Just got to push up on it really gently. And that should just pop right back out like that. Alright, so looking at the new one, I can actually see how many screws this thing is held on by. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws. So around the bezel. Right here. So yeah, just follow the bezel around. And if you're wondering where they're at, just look at the new one. Right. Now that all the screws are off, this thing should just pop off. Just be careful with the river cable. And that's it. Time to get the new one on. Right. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's... I got this piece of foam in there, so in between the screens, right there. <laughs> so, uh, man, I don't know if I can get my air compressor in there. I, I guess I didn't even notice that, where that piece of foam's at, so. All right, that's ridiculous. It's in between the layers. All right, so I'm gonna send this thing back. That's too much to deal with. Um, yeah, we're gonna trade this thing in a couple of years and that would hurt resale value, so. Um, God, how annoying. Alright, so a new one came in from Amazon. How did we, uh, how did we turn the other one? There we go. So this one didn't have, actually have, doesn't have that white blue in it. I can see this is a new one, so no blue. Alright, I'm going to pop the screen cover off. Make sure the river cable comes out. And then make sure you don't put your fingerprints on this because you're not going to be able to get to that screen. Make sure your environment is clean if you can. I'm not going to try very hard not to get my fingerprints on here. And when I get that ribbon cable through. Screwdriver. Yeah, I'm just trying to do it without getting any dust in there or any sort of fingerprints on it. Alright, so now that that's through, I'm going to keep the plastic on there. I'm we'll gonna put some padding down here so I don't scrape and scratch up the front of it. Alright. Alright, so now I'm gonna screw the screen back on. Um, gotta make sure it gets lined up. There's some little tabs, little little keys. Just gotta make sure you get those in, in place. Alright, now that I have the screen bolted back in. I'm gonna put that rearing cable back in there. I'm gonna use my needle nose pliers here. This cable is not exactly. And then go back. That's it. All right, so put the storage compartment back on. Don't forget that little cable right there to put that back on. That cover back on. And you have actually the machine screws to go on these five. The uh, machine screws go into the metal things here. Put the last pieces back on. That needs the larger bolts. All right, this thing's all put back together, so ready to get put back in the car. A little bug is I'm a day late, so my wife's driving around the car without the radio in. And the car will drive without the radio in, but you won't be able to control the air conditioning or obviously the radio. Yeah, because this is all the air conditioning down here. But, alright, so I'm going to put this back in as soon as she gets home. Awesome. Alright guys, it's night, so i got to put this back on. My wife drove the car like this today. So, like I said, the, the car does work without the unit in there. You can't really mess with the AC, but it, it rolls. All right, before I put this thing back together, I want to see if it actually works. Awesome, here we go. There he goes working. Alright, everything's functioning correctly, so all volume down here is working. I don't really know, it's not, it's not my car, so I don't know how to work this thing 100%. All the touch screen stuff works. So, you know. Alright. All right, guys, done deal. Back together. Oh yeah, it's uh, 52 bucks on Amazon. Then I actually looked last night when I had to get the replacement screen. It's down to $39 now, so 
Put a link on the one for 39 bucks. Same one. All right.